to episode 25 of this Derby County career mode. It's the beginning of a new season and we start our life in the Premier League. Um, I hope you guys do go on to enjoy it. If you do, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you do go on to enjoy it. And yeah, we are going to get straight into things today. Um, we've got 90 million to spend. Um, okay, I will admit, um, at, at the start of the season we did have uh, 50 million, but I may have used a cheeky uh, transfer um, budget thing, finance, financial takeover. Um, so we got 90 million, but at the same time, that is quite realistic. Um, teams getting promoted from the championship normally get about 100, 120 million, something like that. So, you know. Um, 90 million is quite realistic. So um, today's episode, um, we're going to be making quite a few signings, obviously. We need to because the state of our team isn't looking amazing. You know, we've got two reserves, one of who is injured. Um, and yeah, we definitely need to make some signings. And um, yeah, um, so I hope you guys do go on to enjoy it. We're going to get into things. Um, I have added a few different players to the transfer hub which were uh, recommended in the comments section um, by a few people um, so if I show you guys here um, we've got uh, Tonali, um, Olmo, Atal, um, we have Dean Henderson, uh, Jamal Lewis um, I've also added a few players that Kind of got relegated from some of the uh, the uh, lower league clubs that well the pl the players from teams that got relegated last season. So Norwich, uh, we've got four there. Um, Sheffield United there. We've got also a few Aston Villa players as well. Um, if I can find that, um, but yeah, just you know, I've added a few players. A few more players into the transfer hub, and obviously there'll be some more to come as well. But um, where's Aston Villa? Should be up here. I don't know if they got relegated actually, but you know Jack Grealish, Andre Green, Tyrone Mings, players like that. So uh, yeah, um, I guess we're going to get straight into things. We're going to advance a couple of days. Um, we decided not to go for the pre-season. Um, the pre-season uh, tournament, seeing as we've got lots of money already. Um, and yeah, so um, we are looking for probably a player in most positions. Um, one, if maybe, probably two strikers. Um, I'm not saying probably one starter and one kind of bench player. Um, at least one winger. A um, couple of centre-backs. Uh, goalkeeper so yeah um looking for plenty of signings really and i am going to set that up now we've already got a goalkeeper and a striker in there but if we uh add a few more um into the instructions and see what we get back from these uh scouts and i normally just go with the position and first team quality sometimes i uh make them a bit younger but you know um so we got a couple of goalkeepers suggested here but no one I'm really interested in, except from these two, which are already on the shortlist. Um, I'm still waiting for scout reports back from them. Uh, Peacock Farrell from Burnley and Jamal Blackman from Chelsea. So, um, And then we've got strikers here as well. Again, um, not too many players I'm interested in here. Um, that's the trouble with some of the... Uh, the scout reports, they don't always give you amazing players, even though you said first team quality, but, you know. Um, so we got those players there, and Fikayo Tamori, and Tuanzebe, and Pennington there for centre-back, and that is it. So, um, I am actually going to talk you through the whole of the transfer hub, and just um, talk you through who we've already got on the... Uh, shortlist at, at the minute and then point out anyone that I might be looking at possibly signing so uh, we'll start off with the goalkeepers we've got Jed Steer um, who was more of a player for last season 
but um, and we can't sign him anyway. But he would kind of be a backup keeper. But again, with Mark Travers, we could get him for about one million. He's got quite a bit of potential, so might be looking at him. But the main kind of four or five are the ones that we are yet to have scout reports back on yet. Um, we've got Bailey Peacock, Farrell, Dean Henderson, Angus Gunn, Jack Butland, and Jamal Blackman all there. Um, don't know why we've got the value for Jack Butland, but not the, uh, the overall. But there we go. Um, got a couple of well, we got a uh, Hoover there from Liverpool, still young, could get him for about um, 1.5 mil, just a kind of decent backup right back in the centre back. A towel who's been recommended a few times, um, but I'm not too really looking for a right back. Seen as Jaden Vogel, I'm probably going to be sticking with for most of this career mode, if not all of it. Uh, Max Ahrens is a very, very good player, but again, similar to kind of Jaden Bogle. Fika Otomori is probably one of the main ones on this shortlist that I want to bring to the club, obviously, um, was our player of the season um, when he was with us, obviously, on this career mode two years ago, but in real life a year ago. Um, obviously, still young, could get him for about seven and a half million, something like that. Eric Garcia would be a nice kind of backup young player. Um, same with Pennington there. There, um, a kind of well, not youngish anymore, but you know, decent backup to Nzebe, Um is very similar to Fiko Tomori, same age, pretty much same overall as well. Tyrone Mings is probably another main one on this uh, list. A bit more experience, can play at centre back or left back. Um, McGarland with a nice 10 million release clause. Matt Clark, who we had last season as well, we could get him for about 7 million. Don't know if I'll look to bring him back. Um, he had some good good games, but some not good games, I guess, um, for us. So we'll see about that. Lloyd Kelly at left back, Jamal Lewis, Jordan Obita, all the three left backs. Um, but all of them are kind of similar to Max Lowe um, in a way. Uh, so we'll probably stick with Max Lowe for the time being. We've got Tonali there, who I've already mentioned. Uh, right wingers then, we've got Leko from West Brom. Another good uh, kind of backup winger that's still young. Qu can play up front as well. Could get him for quite cheap. Charlie Masondo, who's probably another uh, big one that I'm looking at uh, bringing in. Another kind of Chelsea youngster um, who is definitely... Probably uh, towards the top of my shortlist, we've got Helder Costa here from Wolves. Um, Jack Clark from Tottenham, who is another um, player I very much like. Uh, David Brooks from Bournemouth. Luke Thomas, Mark Hart, or Brighton, who were, was on the transfer list. I don't know if he is now, but he was on the transfer list. Jeff Hendrick and Will Hughes then. Uh, two players who obviously were previously at uh, Derby. Will Hughes will have to pay 25 million for, seeing as he's at uh, Dortmund, and that's the only way of getting him is his release clause. And Jeff Hendrick has gone to Alaves as well, Deportivo Alaves. So, um, yeah, we'll 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 see about maybe bringing one of those back. Matty Matty Longstaff then, um, I think we could get him on loan. Might be a bit uh, quite good for you know squad rotation stuff. Uh, Philip Billing is another. One up there from Bournemouth, Cantwell from Norwich, um, a very good young uh, Englishman, uh, Andre Green, Jamie Patterson, who we had last season, um, and Al Hernandez, Nemecha, um, and a few more attacking mids that have been recommended here. All three of those have been recommended um, youngsters as well, but I have heard of those before. Kind of a lot of people do sign them, so. We'll have to see about that. Pritchard, Marcondes, Palmer, the former Derby man as well. Jack Grealish is probably one of my main ones on this shortlist as well. We could get him for about 25 million, but that would be a very, very good sign-in for him uh, to come in. Uh, Dowell, who we had last season as well. J uh, James Madison, it's probably between him and Grealish uh, for that attacking mid-spot. Two young Englishmen um, that would be a b about both. 30 million odd so uh, Mason Mount is another one who I'd like to bring in but um, 
I don't know. Maybe we might we might look at him. Mason Greenwood um, would be a fantastic signing. Goodmanson, Harry Wilson again, uh, former Derby man. I'm looking at bringing a few of the old uh, boys back. Uh, Carlin Grant then up front for Huddersfield at the minute. Uh, Dominic Solanke, Mounier, Campbell, Anike, uh, Vieto, Maguire, Robinson, Nias, Tony, Fletcher, all are kind of decent um, strikers, but are they Premier League material? Some of them possibly are, maybe Callum Robinson and Vieto, but uh, yeah, we'll have to see about that. Um, and then finally, a few left wingers here. We've got Ryan Kent from Liverpool, uh, Moreno, Smith Rowe. Uh, Martinelli and Harvey Barnes with a 20 million release clause. So that's who we've got on the transfer hub at the minute. Um, definitely leave your comments down below on who to sign because obviously I need some um, options. Obviously uh, Harvey Barnes has been offered there for 12.5 million. We've also had a 1 million pound offer just uh, just below that for uh, George Evans so um, I think we're gonna accept that yes we probably don't need the money but he's kind of he, he wasn't really involved at all last season so I don't see why he'd get involved this season in the Premier League anyway we are going to go uh, for our first signing um, and I think you guys know who it's gonna be uh, Fikai Tomori Yes, we definitely need uh, a few centre-backs coming in. So, Fikayo Tomori, we're going to go in for. The, he's 73 rated, but he's got loads of potential. And I think, you know, if we'd um, maybe kept Frank Lampard uh, at the end of last season, um, then we would have probably had him now. But, um, yeah, um, I think he's a very good young player and... Um, do we look for any transfer swaps? No, I don't think I don't think so. We'll just go in with we'll go in with a six million, just over his current value. Um, and Frank Lampard's accepted that. There he is. Um, yeah, Frank Lampard has accepted a six million pound offer for Fikayo Tomori. So yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with that actually. Um, obviously, he's got quite a high wage, but. No, we've got plenty of money, so I don't see why that would be an option. And um, yeah, the game seems quite slow at the minute. Um, it's taken a while to get into the the cutscenes and whatever. But here we go then. Fiko Tomori um, set to be our first signing. Should we? We'll make him important. Um, all he wants crucial. Oh, go on then. Um, yeah. Five year deal, very happy with that, that's what I was going to go in for anyway. Um, no release clause, and finally, let's just uh, go with a 50,000, no, 50,000 um, pound wage, and yeah, we'll just go in with that and see what he says. Yep, there we go then. Fikayo Tomori is our first signing of the season, obviously, newly promoted to the Premier League. I think that's a very, very solid signing. Um, 23 over, uh, 22 age and 73 overall. He's got uh, some very good stats. So, yeah, I'll take that. Definitely, we definitely needed a centre back. Um, if we'll probably look at getting a few more in, maybe at least one or two. Um, yeah, very pleased to get that uh, deal done. That first deal done and. Yeah, I think we're going to advance um, maybe a week or two just to see uh, some of the scout reports that come back. And then, um, and yeah, we'll maybe look at cracking on um, with another uh, signing. Scott Carson has had an offer in for him here, just under a million. I have no intentions of using him whatsoever this season, so yeah. Uh, Scott Carson, the 74-year-old, who spent last season, 34-year-old, uh, did I say 74-year-old? Um, anyway, he spent last season on loan at Manchester City, and yeah, um, he's going to be hopefully on his way. Um, there's been another offering for George Evans, um, which I guess we'll accept. Um, it's a bit more than the actual uh, offer that came in for him before. Um, and yeah, um, 
yeah, I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm going to actually have a look at some of the scout reports that have come in uh, for those instructions on the um, global transfer network. Um, it doesn't look like many. Uh, we've had a few in from uh, the uh, Dutch League, but yeah, not many at the minute. So, um, yeah, it doesn't look like many at all, to be honest. So, um, we'll have to probably give it a bit more time. But um, let's see where they actually are scouting at the minute England, Netherlands, Portugal. Um, We'll send this one to Scotland, I think. Um, just see if there's any anyone we could maybe get in Scotland. And we'll send this one to France. For the time being, and yeah. Um, right then. Uh, yeah, we're just advancing on a bit at the minute, and then we'll... Uh, We'll hopefully get cracking with a few um, a few players coming in because um, I don't want to leave it too late and then get into the, the Premier League first game without any decent players. We probably won't play our first game uh, this uh, season uh, of this season uh, in this episode, but next episode we'll um, we will. We've got uh, plenty of the scout reports in now. Um, Evans and Carson have both been sold as well, so um, yeah, we've got most of the key um, key players in. So we are going to go after our second signing of uh, the season in just a second after I've seen um, all these, because there's been quite a few more players coming in. Um, just get a, a scout on a few of these, but um, yeah, we're gonna go after our first signing in a minute or so. Um, I wish it was suggesting a few more better players. Um, you know, I might have to do a bit of research myself um, to go after a few players because. But def definitely, like I said, um, leave a comment down below um, on who you think I should sign. Here are a few one good ones. Marcus Edwards, Daniel James, um, Dean Garner, Josh Murphy's quite a good one. Krasitsky. Um, but yeah, got plenty of good wingers there, but um, it's not my main thing at the minute. Um, we're definitely going to look at bringing a winger in. Well, that's a very good one, Mepham. Um, but yeah, we are going to go after our second signing of the season. Just trying to think who, what position we're going for first. I'm probably thinking goalkeeper. Have we got all the scout reports back? No, we haven't. We've only got Jack Butland back. But Butland might probably is my first choice there. Yes, he's a bit older than the others, but... He's probably going to be by far the f highest rated out of all of them. So we'll leave that for now because um, I want to be definite. I don't want to be like rushing into things. Um, so what we're going to do then, I think, is going to go in for a s probably Philip Billing. Um Oh, do we need Philip Billing? Because he... Mm. It's, it depends what formation we're going to play, actually. If we're going to just go with the same formation. If we are, then he'd probably fight for that spot with Shinny. Um, which wouldn't be a bad thing. But... Are we going to go... I think we're going to probably end up going for that formation. So we are going to go in for... Philip Billing. No. Oh. Um, uh, I think he's a very good player. One of my favourite. Um, but yeah, we're going to go in for him right now. Uh, probably cost us just under 15 million, which isn't bad um, for a 76. 
rated with, you know, potentially still fairly young. Um, we might even be able to get him for a bit lower than that. I'm going to go in for 10 million, which is just over his value. Uh, 12.7. You know what, if we can get that down to 12. Yep, yeah, Eddie Howe is having that. So, uh, 12 million is definitely a, a very decent offer for for Philip Billing there and uh, we're going to get into the negotiations for the wage um, and yeah I'll, I'll be happy with those two signings about 20 million for two very good players um, two you know crucial players um, go with four years for Philip um, there we'll disregard his release clause right I'm happy with that that wage and that signing bonus but that goals is a bit too much yes he probably won't score too many goals yeah we'll take that 36 and a half um for him so there we go um two signings coming in in the first episode we are going to end it there um yes it's been a, a little bit of a boring episode but we have signed uh, two players let me know your suggestions for players down in the comment section uh, next episode we are going to get into our first premier league game against burnley we might even sneak the everton in uh everton one in as well um just having a look throughout the season who we've got when um obviously we haven't really got a local derby to look out for it's probably stoke is the stoke and leicester are probably the the closest ones um, when we got Leicester. Yeah, around, around then. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video if you did enjoy it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.